However, you are welcome to solve for the value of k given this nice exponential equation, which is 2 to the power of k, this is equal to k to the power of that 2. And given that k is not equal to 0. So let's provide a solution from here. Now, we have 2 to the power of k. This is equal to k to the power of 32. The first step is to eliminate this power here, with the power of k here. And to do this, we multiply both signs by 1 over k. And also here we have 1 over k. Now, the next step is to simplify. Let's simplify here. So that now, here we have 2. This is equal to k to the power of that 2 raised to the power of 1 over k. Now, the next step is that k to the power of that 2 to the power of 1 over k, this is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of m raised to the power of n. Applying this exponent property, then here we have 2, this is equal to k to the power of 1 over k raised to the power of 32. Now, you can write this as k to the power of 1 over k raised to the power of 32. This is equal to 2. The next step is to eliminate this 32 as well. And to do this, we multiply both signs by 1 over 32. So we have 32 multiplying by 1 over 32. This is equal to 2 to the power of 1 over 32. So let's simplify here. That 2 and that 2 here simplifies. So that we have k to the power of 1 over k. This is equal to 2 to the power of 1 over 32. We have k to the power of 1 over k. This is equal to 2 to the power of 1 over that 2, which we can express as 2 to the power of 1 times 1 over 32. So we can express 1 as 2 over 2. So this implies that here we have 2 to the power of 2 multiplying by 1 over 2 multiplying by 32. So that now here we have 2 to the power of 2 then raised to the power of 1 over 2 times 32. So now we have k to the power of 1 over k. This is equal to 2 to the power of 2, which is equal to 4, raised to the power of 1 over 2 times that 2, which is equal to 64. Now, this again can be expressed as 4 to the power of 1, 10 times 1 over 64. So again, we express 1 as 2 over 2. And this implies that here we have 4 to the power of 2 over 2 times 1 over 64. And therefore, here we have 4 to the power of 2 raised to the power of 1 over 2 times 64. And therefore, from here we have 4 to the power of 2. Remember 4 to the power of 2, this is the same as 16 raised to the power of, this is raised to the power of 1 over 2 times 64, which is 128. Now, we can express this as 16 to the power of 1 times 1 over 128. And this implies that from here, we can express again 1 as 2 over 2, and therefore, here we have 16 to the power of 2 over 2 multiplied by 1 over 128. And this implies that here we have 16 to the power of 2, then raised to the power of 1 over 2 times 128. And therefore, this implies that we have 16 
to the power of 2, this is 16 squared, which is 256, raised to the power of 1 over 2 times 128, and this is equal to 256. So this implies that here we have that k to the power of 1 over k, this is equal to 256 raised to the power of 1 over 256. Now, as you can see here, k, the base and the exponent a is the same, and also the base here and the exponent is the same. So this concludes that k is equal to 256. So this is the value of k. Now, the next step is to verify that this value of k satisfies the equation. Now, let's verify that the value of k, which is equal to 256, satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall, we have that 2 to the power of k, this is equal to k to the power of 32. Substituting k, then this means we have 2 to the power of 256. This is equal to 256 to the power of 32. So from here, we can express we can express 256. This is the same thing as 2 to the power of 8. So this implies we have 2 to the power of 256. This is equal to 2 to the power of 8 raised to the power of 32. Now, we have 2 to the power of 8 to the power of 32. This is in the form of a to the power of n, raised to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n multiplied by m. So this means that we have 2 to the power of 256. This is equal to 2 raised to the power of 8 multiplied by 32. So we have that 2 multiplied by 8, and this means that 8 times 2, this is equal to 16, 31, then 8 times 3, this is 24 plus 1, this is 25, so we have 256. So this means we have 2 to the power of 256, this is equal to 2 to the power of 256. And this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side and this affirms that the value of k which is equal to 256 satisfies the equation so can you follow the steps like this video and subscribe see you in the next video